Oh, oh, I got a big one. I got a big one. I got two. I got, I got two. I got two. I got. How's it going guys? Welcome back. Jay and I are currently on the road. We are heading to a favorite fishing destination. Um, as you might can tell, the weather is pretty cruddy. It's nasty, it's raining. I think there's more rain projected in the forecast today, but we saw there was a chance that it would let up. So we figured, you know, we'd hit the road and try to get some fishing in instead of just sitting at home, pouting about the weather all day. Cause we're not about that. We're about fishing any moment that we can. Um, anyways, we're gonna go crappie fishing. We're going down below a spillway. We have about 30 minutes of driving ahead of us and uh, hopefully we'll be able to wet a line today and not get completely soaked. And if we're getting rained on, maybe we'll at least catch the fish. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys when we get on the water. Here, let me show you what we're working with. Got the muddy river, got a double jig rig tied up. I have a chartreuse on top, pearl on bottom, two colors that stand out pretty well in this muddy water. I have bright jig heads, I have an orange and pink jig head. And we're just gonna throw out here. We have a little bit of, uh, I mean, it's really calm right here. There's some water flowing on the backside. So theoretically, there should be several crappie stacked up in this general area. It might take a few casts to figure out where exactly they're at. But there should be some out here. This place is usually loaded up with fish. It's usually a bunch of small ones you have to weed through um, before you get to some good ones. But we'll just see what happens. It's raining, but it ain't raining too bad. Could definitely be worse. Definitely could get worse. Um, but if it gets too bad, we might just scurry up, get in the vehicle, chill up in there until the heavy rain um, passes. Oh, I got one. My line messed up. <laughs> it does not feel very big. Whoop. Okay, there are some crappie out here. How about that? And like I predicted, small ones. He bit the chartreuse jig. That is a tiny little white crappie. Uh, but he's up there in that calm water, so maybe there's some more up there. Maybe some more stacked. It was only like my third cast or so. And we'll see you later, buddy. Get big. Hopefully it'll be bigger next time. Let's we'll put it back out there and see if we can get another one. Hit it hard, threw some slack around my end of my rod tip. We're looking for something a lot bigger than that though. We're looking for slabs. That is not classified as a slab. There he is. It's another small one, I think. There we go, another one on the top jig. He's a little bit bigger than the last one. He's actually almost double in size. Another white crappie, just long, skinny. And he too ate the chartreuse jig. If I start catching a ton on that chartreuse uh, top jig, I'll probably swap and have a chartreuse on top and bottom. That's what's great about throwing a double jig rig is you can really dial in, you know, what color the fish are wanting, or you can have maybe a grub on top and a tube on bottom, or just, you know, any sort of combination. And if you have one that's getting more attention than the other, I mean, then you could just put both of that same type of uh, soft plastic on there and really, really um, get to hammering on these fish. Another one. Oh no, that was a good one. Holy crap, the thing hit it so hard. Dang it. Hmm, a little bite. Rain's starting to pick up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't pick up a whole lot more than this. At least the wind ain't blowing. It ain't that cold either. It's about 60 degrees, which is quite nice. It's gonna be a whole lot colder tomorrow. We have a pretty big front coming through. That's kind of another reason why we wanted to get out today. Uh, as the conditions are gonna be very similar tomorrow, except it's gonna be 20 degrees colder and more wind. There he is, little guy. And the fish are biting, and that's another one on the chartreuse top jig. Got a new species though. It's a black crappie, about a six inch black crappie. Tell it's a black crappie, they have the 
the modeling, the black splotches. Those white crappie have more vertical bars on them. Cool, we got both species hanging out in the same eddy. And they're all about the same size. I've done this before where I'm catching a bunch of small fish and then just all of a sudden, boom, two pounder. Just out of nowhere. It's like the apex predator. Crappie are cannibalistic. They will they have no problem with eating each other if they can. I've cleaned a bunch of crappie and on the insides they have a <laughs> bunch of baby crappie inside of them. A big old two pound crappie could eat one of these fish that I just caught. Ooh, a big fish just came up out there. I don't know what that was. I'm in a buffalo or something. Wouldn't mind to catch one of them today too, just for fun. Shoot, what the heck? <laughs> I keep hitting it, they're hitting it so hard. Oh, there's one on the bottom jig. There we go, one on the bottom jig. He wanted the pearl. Another black crappie. Definitely can't complain. Come out here on a nasty rainy day and <laughs> in a muddy flooded river and catch some nice little crappie. The size is not there yet, and I'm gonna keep saying that probably until I catch a big one. Or maybe it's just gonna get old and repetitive. So maybe, maybe we won't catch any big ones. I'm hopeful. Oh, oh, I didn't even feel the bite. I saw my line move the other way. Yeet. That might be the largest one I've caught so far today. We're still not in slab territory. Like I said, I think we're gonna call a slab today about a 10 incher. In real life, a slab I would say is about a 12 inch fish. Um, <laughs> but that's about seven and a half inch fish probably. He fell victim to the chartreuse jig on a black crappie. And this fish is really cold. Wow, I didn't even feel the other ones. That fish is really cold. That bite was very, very light. I literally didn't even feel it. I just saw my line kind of change directions a little bit. Wow, them shattered getting it right there. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, oh, I got a big one. I got a big one. I got two. I got, I got two, I got two, I got two. I got a big one and a little one. Woo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that! <laughs> that's a big one! And this is what we've been catching, but that's a good one. Look how fat he is. He's probably got a baby crappie in him, like I was telling you guys. Dude, those dudes crunched it! Now this is why you double jig rig for crappie. You catch two fish at one time. We got a big one up top, and I just noticed down his throat. And I told you there's some shag going crazy. Maybe they were schooling on him. But look at that. I don't know if he's it open. He's got a giant shad tail down his throat. It's wild. That's why he's so fat. See how fat he is? Oh! Oh, he's fighting. You can see how fat he is? Super fat fish. We're not gonna be keeping any today. We didn't bring a bucket or a string or anything to keep fish. Uh, so I'm gonna get this guy back in the water and get the other guy unhooked and get back out there and should be catching more fish. All right, big guy. We'll see you later. Go terrorize some more big shed. And I got this other one I gotta get off. Whoops. Got you. He's decent. Not bad at all. I thought I had like one giant slab, but then I realized I had two big old fish on there. Or a big one and a medium. Alright. We'll see you too. Go. See you. Alright, let's get back out there. I let that one sink down a little bit further. And uh, I was fishing it a little bit slower, so maybe that is what I need to be doing. I thought I was fishing pretty slow at first, but I just kicked it down just one more notch. So I don't want to fish it too slow as I'll get hung up every cast. Just getting that right, perfect depth presentation. They're all over it. Another really light bite. It's a baby. This one's gonna go down as the smallest fish of the day so far. Hopefully we don't match this fish with anything smaller. That dude is tiny. I mean, super tiny. That fish could have eaten that one for sure. 
that bite is so light. He ain't bad. And he's on the white jig. That fish is actually really white. That last fish I caught was kind of yellowish. Look how white that fish is. It almost matches the jig. It's really pretty when you look at it real close. It's got those really nice blues and purples up there. And that fish is pure white. Freezing cold. So one thing I think that's helping me detect these light bites is that I'm using braided line. I'm using 10 pound braided line. Braided line is really responsive. It's really sensitive. You can feel the lightest little bite. And I have a leader on there. I have a, about a 10 foot, eight pound leader on there. I really, really like this setup for crappie fishing. My rod size might be a little overkill for these small fish. Um, I'm using a seven foot, two inch medium spinning rod. Um, I like this size rod, especially when I'm out here fishing in the river, because you never know what you're going to hook up with. I could at any moment hook up with a catfish, a drum, a buffalo, a big bass. Um, but it's also good for catching big crappie. You know how it is if you, if you hook up with a giant, you know, two pound or one and a half pound size crappie. Um, having this little bit stiffer rod and this extra leverage is really nice. And it almost guarantees you're going to get that fish in the boat every time. Nothing wrong with fishing ultralight tackle. I love fishing with ultralight tackle, but I just feel like this increases my chance of getting these fish in the boat, which is the most important thing to me. Whoop. Long and skinny. Getting pretty equal on chartreuse and pearl jigs. They're kind of liking both of them about the same amount. That feels like a chub. Feels like a chub. Ooh. Ooh. Now that one there's got some thickness to him. He's got a nasty mouth though. That ain't a bad fish. That's the second biggest fish today. Looks a little sickly though. He's got some weird stuff going on around his mouth and his tail's kind of jacked up. Look at that. Crush that jig. Nice black crappie. If I was keeping him, I would definitely throw that one in my bucket, but today's this dude's lucky day. Folks, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Look how tiny that fish is. The bite has died way down, and uh, I don't know if this is worth staying out here a whole lot longer because we're soaked and this is what we're getting now. So this might be the last fish, make a couple more casts, see what happens. Um, but if I don't catch anything in the next couple casts, I think we're gonna call it a day here. Let's get him back in the water. Well, that is gonna be it for today's episode. Like I mentioned earlier, there was a cold front coming through and the bottom just fell out and temperature got so cold and we were just soaked to the bone, just cold, miserable, and then on top of that, the fish quit biting. If the fish were still biting, I'm sure that we'd still be down there fishing for them, but they just completely shut up. They actually shut the water off at the dam. And I think that had a lot to do with the bite shutting off. But anyways, it was a good time. Good time out here catching some fish. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, be sure to hit the like button for me and make sure you are subscribed to our channel with the post notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on our future uploads. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.